Hey everybody, it's Joe Irwin with Irwin Racing. It is a cold, nasty, dreary. It's a day that, that makes people in West Virginia want to move to Florida. So we're in the shop, heated, nice and cozy. Um, got the, the new to us rear end behind us here. I'm going to be working on it, you know, stripping it down, cleaning it up, inspecting everything, making sure it's in good working order, which I'm pretty sure it is. So, yeah, this is the first ever Irwin Racing shop vlog. So let's uh, see what we got. got is a Ford nine inch rear end pretty common among circle track racers we jumped on it pretty quick because it already has the gear that we're looking for in it uh, it's got floating hubs this is the hub you snap an axle inside of here uh, the hub stays attached the axle stays in the, the housing whereas the way the car is now if we snap an axle the wheel, the tire, the hub, that whole assembly is flying through the air with a snapped axle attached to it like a spear, which is an obvious safety concern. So <laughs> it also makes things a lot harder to work on and a lot harder to fix. Now the setup is slightly different. This is what you would call a parallel four link, uh, all four control arms parallel with each other, upper lower over here, upper lower over there. Bear with me, I, I just learned all this myself, so if I get any of this terminology wrong, I do apologize. This is where you would mount what's called the pool bar. Long story short, I don't know anything about that, and <laughs> I don't think I have any room for all this stuff. The car is not set up for it. If we were going to run it this way, we would have to you know, modify the chassis of the car. We'd have to weld brackets onto the frame and, and cut the, you know, I'm sure we'd have to cut the trunk pan to fit that pool bar. And it came out of a dirt modified. And, and to me, this just looks like a dirt modified setup. So what we're going to do is refer to as a triangulated four link. So, you know, you, instead of your upper and lower over here, you have just your lower over here. And then your two uppers actually attached to the, the top of the housing here. So the, the chassis is already set up that way. All the brackets are already there and everything. And uh, there's some things we can do to that to make it more tunable and, and uh, get some adjustability out of the, out of the rear end. So we get the, the same effect, maybe not as extreme with the way we're going to have it set up, but I think it'll work. I went ahead and cracked this one open over here because I was worried that I wouldn't have the correct uh socket for the spindle nut luckily it had a part number stamped on it for the time being i was able to just kind of tap it loose a little bit so in the future we're definitely going to get that socket and uh, use that so we're not beating the crap out of that spindle nut and getting it all boogered up we're gonna finish taking it all apart drain the old oil out whack those big old pull bar mounts off the top of it with the old angle grinder so that'll be fun so yeah let's uh let's get greasy Oh my gosh. He's excited. We got this side pretty much stripped down. Uh, we are running into our first issue of, I don't know what you'd call those inner races, inner bearings, whatever those are. One of them came out in it, one of them stayed. I'm going to keep trying the, the uh, BFH method, and uh, if that doesn't work, we might just have to cut that off. BFH undefeated.
All right, so on this side, kind of had an uh-oh moment when I pulled the uh, the bearing out. I heard little clink, clink, clinks <laughs> landed in my little drip tray here. You can see right around here. I was thinking, you know, your first thought is, oh no, that's chunks. At least my first thought. But oh no, that that's chunks of metal. You know, I got gears in here grinding or bearings flying apart there's still see a little bit of stuff in there but like so i'll pull this little piece out but that right there and the other stuff that came out uh it's just dirt like i said this i think i said this came off of a dirt modified so i guess it's understandable that there'd be some dirt in there uh, other than that the bearing looked okay everything else looks okay um oil is definitely nasty need it changed when i when i drain all the oil out of the differential in the center which i plan on doing in this video depending on how that looks if that looks bad and has a bunch of dirt in it and stuff um then yeah we'll pull that diff and and, and give it a give it a once over and make sure it's looking okay but if the oil looks okay i mean this is just really dirty if the oil just looks really dirty then I think it'd be okay. All right, so we got her pretty much stripped down. Those inner races were defeated by the BFH. Uh, BFH is 2-0 and on the night, still undefeated. But we ran into another little problem. Uh, the drain plug on the bottom of the center section here, it understandably is a little beat up. I mean, it's been riding around underneath a, a dirt car for who knows how long, so developed a little lip on it uh, couldn't get the socket on it to take it out so um, we got some files to kind of file the faces of that down so we could get a socket on it but for the time being i think i'll just drain it out of what is technically the back and then we'll uh, file down the bottom plug and we'll go ahead and get it out too before we start whacking off these big pull bar mounts guys there it is all stripped down all the brackets off all the old oil out axles out hubs off that is a naked rear end i left the center section and the oil looked fine pull bar mounts ground off okay try to kind of smooth it over looks good we'll end up cleaning all this up and getting it ready for welding the new brackets on these brackets here uh, we did get into the housing just a little bit that's what this hole is here um definitely shouldn't have I was not deep enough to get into the housing here so I think it's from their weld before maybe they got it a little too hot when they welded that pool bar mount on right here and uh, accidentally popped a hole in the housing so not a big deal we'll uh, when we have the welder out we'll just we'll throw some weld on that and grind it down and seal it back up all in all happy with it seems to be in good working order and yeah 
all was well. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. All in all, I think it went pretty well. Uh, I think it's going to do really well for us. Uh, now, in the next video, we're going to be welding our brackets on, getting it ready to go in the car. But before then, we are going to have to get the car put in the shop, get the older end in here so that we can uh, take measurements on the brackets that are on it just to make sure that when we put these on that they're you know, oriented in the same way so that this thing's going to fit the same way the old one did. So that's what's coming up. And yeah, if you like this video, be sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel so you can see what's coming up as we prepare for the 2023 season. So thanks. Bye.